you're in Key West or making an upcoming trip to the island, stop by a cozy little cottage located on Eaton Street. The wine cottage features work from many of our local colorful artists. You can also browse homemade soaps, lotions, scrubs, jewelry, and much more. While you're there, you can also try one of their delicious wines. The owner, Dottie Hardin, takes us inside the wine cottage this morning. I'm Dottie Hardin, the owner of the Wine Cottage on Eaton, Key West. We have local art, local jewelry, local soaps, wine. I'm always looking for new artists to come in and share with us their talent. We have at this time about seven artists that do jewelry in the cottage, and it's uh, everybody's different. Uh, some of it is glass, some of it is uh, seed from a pot, which is very, very interesting. And then we have uh, conch shell jewelry, all very well done. You may get to meet one of our local artists that's always popping in and out and redoing their displays. And so it's a real treat to meet them, talk to them, and, and learn how they made their product. The local art is mostly Key West art. It's like the Southernmost Point, the Hemingway House, the Lighthouse, Sloppy Joe's, it's watercolors, and I think you'll enjoy the artwork. It's very, very well done. In addition to the art, I have a lot of beautiful antique furniture in the lower level of the cottage, and uh, upstairs is soon going to open as the antique attic. I have a lot of glass, pottery, plates, just a really nice selection of uh, antiques upstairs. We have wine tastings, we have market day out in the garden, we have tarot card readings, and then we do the gift baskets that are very popular. We'll just put anything you want to in there. We can do a, a gift basket for any occasion. When you're in Key West, please stop by the Wine Cottage on Eaton, 930 Eaton Street, Unit C, next door to the Old Town Bakery. Our hours are from 10 till 5, Monday through Saturday, closed on Sunday. Like us on Facebook and keep up with all the events of the Wine Cottage on Eaton. Dottie, you have a beautiful store. How long has the Wine Cottage been open? I am in my uh, starting my third year, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm constant, constantly changing um, my art, my jewelry. I have some really fantastic uh, artists in the store, and we do um, gift baskets. And my wine collection is really interesting. I have wines from South Africa, Argentina, California just all over and I added um, snacks and the rum cakes and soon I'm going to be opening the upstairs and it's going to be um, antiques. I started off as an antique store actually mm -hmm. and it just because I had so many artists coming in asking me if I could sell their wares mm -hmm. and I'm always interested in trying new things and so I said yes and I found out that I could sell the art and the jewelry and the books and so I, I went with all of that mm -hmm. but the antiques kept going upstairs and so mm -hmm. I've decided to make an antique attic. That's and a great so, idea. Yeah mm -hmm. so and then we have the garden as you saw in the video. We have wine tasting and we have market day and we also have tarot card readings once a month, which everybody loves. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, I have a lot of local people that come in and we have a local discount. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of tourists, of course. And I love my location. Uh, I'm not on Duval Street. I'm just far enough away from Duval Street to be nice and quiet mm -hmm. and not have the hassle of mm -hmm. Duval Street. Not that there's anything wrong with Duval <laughs> Street, but I'm just happy to be where I am. Mm -hmm. Well, you are in a perfect location. What gave you the idea to start the Wine Cottage three years ago, Donnie? Well, I had an antique shop mm -hmm. uh, in North Carolina, and then I moved to Florida to be warm and I got into the real estate business when it was good mm -hmm. and then when it was bad I got out and then I decided I wanted to move uh, to, uh, for the south 
And when I moved to Key West, I wasn't really interested in starting a business. Mm -hmm. So I decided I would try working real um, retail. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to do real estate because the market still wasn't good. And I just, uh, I've been my own boss for so many years, it was mm -hmm. difficult um, working for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I wanted something to do. And mm -hmm. so I looked in the paper for a, a commercial spot and looked everywhere, couldn't find anything, and I went on Greg's list, and I saw this interesting ad and made an appointment to see it, and the place was a mess, but I just felt good about it. I thought I could do something with the garden, and there was parking, and parking, as we know in this town, is terrible. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to, um, I had a, a bunch of antiques left over from my antique shop in North Carolina, mm -hmm. and so that's how it got started. Mm -hmm. And then everything's just evolved and it keeps changing. Well, it's wonderful changes, Dottie. You have a great store, such an assortment of products. And something I really recommend are your gift baskets. Our viewers can see this right here. I think it's fabulous. You've got wine, snacks, and then... That's a cheese plate. Cheese plate. Cheese and crackers. Which is the southernmost point. So definitely... That's definitely. one of my artists that does that. Yeah, check out, check out the wine cottage. Pick up one of these gift baskets. If you don't want that, well, there's so many other things that you could try out. Dottie, thank you for being on this morning with thank me. Thank you so <laughs> much for having me. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me today. I hope that you enjoyed today's show, and I hope that you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone, and have a great rest of your day. It'll be okay.